Uno, dos, tres. You should count in like one in each language. Hana, dos. Clearly, we know how to count in Japanese. <laughs> what? What? Do you know any numbers? No. I don't know any Japanese. Hana, ni, trace. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably wrong. Please correct our stupidity in the comments. Hi! As you can tell by those three languages, it is yet another installment of Opo Watashi wa Sarang Tu Ni Amor Tesume. Here we are once again. <clears throat> oh, darkness and I, old friend. Okay, so we're gonna do chapter three Park. Ra Ra Rodriguez and O De Juan. Somehow I feel like that is a <clears throat> EXO member. Right? Because they it's... mentioned Sehun earlier. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Yes? No. Okay. The next few days were quite normal for Park Sakura Lopez. What counts as normal? He's got pink hair, naturally, apparently. So, however, a normal day for Park Sacro <laughs> Lopez was a terrible day for Park Sacro Lopez. Oh. Yet somehow, Park Sacro Lopez was able to stay on her grind. Every morning, her eyes would flutter open to the sweet sound of her parents making love in the room next to her. <laughs> what? It would make her so happy to think that at least Mom and Poppy were enjoying their lives. Her sister would often complain about it, though. Her sister's name was Park Rara Rodriguez. Rara? I think Park is her last name. Is Rara a Japanese name? I've never heard that before. I don't know. Her second last name was different because she was the daughter of a different man who shall not be named at the moment. At the moment. <laughs> Rara was only a few months younger than her, and she had straight pink hair. They were really close and bonded over K-pop. Unlike Sakura, Rara was not bullied for her ethnicity or hair color at all. Rara was the top of her class and seen as one of the most charismatic people in their school in Mexico. Her time in Seoul so far was also spent being complimented all the time. Sakura envied her younger sister. That is so fucking arbitrary. What? One has curly, like, pink hair, one has, like, straight pink hair, and one's more popular. Well, apparently they have different fathers. One also, who shall not wait, be named. Is the father is the father Japanese or was the mom Japanese? Apparently I don't know. Well if they kept the name Park, I guess. <clears throat> but aren't the their mom. parents married? All of soccer. Why am I trying were, to think of this? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just like take it for what it is. Entertainment. <laughs> All of Sakura's classes were easy, except for her beatboxing classes. She had a lot of trouble hitting the snare boots right. And cats. Boots, cats, boots, cats, boots, cats. Uh, what made it worse was that Yukon was in it too. She caught him looking at her every now and then. One day later that week, Yukon approached her during class. Sakura, let me help you. He stood in front of her, forming his lips like a pro. His lips were his lips. Mmm. Lips. Congratulations. I'm glad that your lips are not something <laughs> else's <laughs> lips. Park Sakura Lopez was a doki. Boku, Boku can haser it by nega self. Nikwan smirked. You at it. Yes. Peens. His beatboxing was flawless. Sakura fell in love with the way he was all about that bass, no trouble. He was bringing booty back. That was the highlight of her day. Later on, her best friend, Oh Sehun, called her. Sehun was his Korean name, but he had moved to Mexico when he was little, so everyone called him Dehon. It was Sehun. It was Sehun. <laughs> Oi, nega wants to es who har everything. Sakura could hear him brushing his mustache over the phone. It's Ani that mucho of a deal, senpai. Hee ha. You said his jawline could stab a puta. 
Like, I gotta saber, saber all about this Opa. Sakura laughed. Well, Yukon Opa, today, Elo tried to osheru me how to beatbox this. <laughs> Go on. He helped Nega do it by squeezing me's cheeks and mimicking kare no boka. Dios mio. He totally wants you down. Wants to you down. He totally wants to you down. Yep. Park Sacker Lopez pondered the thought of Yukon dicking her down. Wow. Uh, Anio! She hung up quickly, not wanting to think about it anymore. Guys, I love this. Like, my brain hurts a little bit, but, like... I'm happy though. So look forward to the next episode. Chapter four, Close the Asian. Goodbye. Nevermore. Goodbye. <laughs>